Our first question comes from Adam Sawyer, and he says, do you think doing a fourth year and getting a degree is really needed? Slash, how much does it help to get your first job? And, you know, Adam is in school. He's going into his fourth year, I assume. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of a interesting question. I'd, I'd be curious in the, in the details of this, Adam. But, you know, if you're a junior, thinking about not doing a fourth year and just going straight to the job market, that's a, kind of a unique thought i don't know that many people that have that thought Mm -hmm. but maybe there is i don't know what do you think james we were well we were kind of talking about this in the previous episode you said you knew friends that left school and went to go work right yes i i did um but i don't think they i don't think they were feeling like junior year like they're done i think it was like they got an internship junior year then they got another internship and then they realized hey and just get a full time job, right? Like it was kind of like they were good enough to not even have to do the fourth year, right? Well, the question is, what does the fourth year provide? You know, yeah. What I mean for me, I think I honestly think that your senior project is usually not your best project. That that's my personal opinion, and that's kind of what I've seen uh, a lot of my uh, colleagues do. Is like your senior project is this thing that's kind of you know, your thesis or whatever, it's this thing that you've been thinking about for a while. Yeah. Presumably. Like, it's something that, like, you've been having in the back of your mind, like, oh, man, I really wish I could do this. And you do it, and, you know, either you do it really well, or you or you kind of, like, slack off because mm. it's your senior, mm-hmm. senior class, and you don't really do it. Or you do it really well, and you don't really document it because it's your senior year. And you right. Because it's not even, like, you're applying to jobs in January. Right. And you're not finished with your project yet. So right. I, I don't know. Was your thesis a full year or a half year? It was one quarter, which was even less than half. One year. quarter? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had quarters at SCAD. Oh. Yeah, we had three quarters. Oh, three quarters? <laughs> yeah, we had, Yeah, because in the fourth quarter of summer. Interesting. It was a very different setup. Huh. I liked it. We had three classes each quarter. Yeah. Um, which gave us a lot of leverage in terms of like we could easily because usually the the three classes were you had two classes that were related to your field and then your third class was like a filler like a history or a Mm. uh, english or something okay um interesting yeah i um i mean i do remember coming back for my fourth year of id and feeling like I'm I'm just ready for some experience because at that point I really hadn't gotten any experience. Right. And um that year usually there was a sponsored studio by a company which would have made it very much worth it, right. but that year there wasn't. Hmm. And so you know the, that was the first semester was supposed to be the sponsored project. And that I think might have changed my mind about fourth year. And then my when it came to my thesis project, I really took the attitude of this is my last chance to do something really weird. Yeah. Uh, and m- however, I've continued to do weird things. Um, I, I in agree. My personal time. I I like that that fourth year is that chance to do what you want. Yeah. Because when you're in college, you have all the time. Right. Like you have all your time dedicated to what you want to do. Yeah. Like when you, when you get a job, like you don't have that time anymore. You got right. you got to work 8 hours a day and then you can go home and do what you want. Right. But think about having all that time back. <laughs> and I think honestly that's like that is the beauty of design school that that maybe we touched on a bit in the last episode, but that ability to experiment mm-hmm. with no repercussions. Yeah. You can make the craziest thing and no one will care. No. Hopefully hopefully somebody will care. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that. that but uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know that it's necessary to go to do a fourth year. I mean, if you feel ready, and and you feel like you don't like, I mean, there's, do you want the diploma or or not? Because as we said in the last podcast, diplomas don't really matter in the long run in the design field. Yeah, nobody asks to see your diploma like during your job interview here's what i would do i i mean i don't know how many people you know adam but i would take your portfolio i would send it out to everyone that you know that's already working in the field and then ask them if your portfolio is good enough to get a junior level position. right because that's the real question i think yeah 
Absolutely, yeah. I would not just say, you know, no fourth year if you have zero job prospects. <laughs> right. I, I think the scenario of not doing your fourth year is that you are so good that you're already picked up. Right. I'm pretty sure that is how all the scenarios have gone. Yeah. Or you are done. I don't know. There's other scenarios, but yeah. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for sending in, Adam. That was that was a good little interesting niche question. Mm-hmm.